Sheriff answer isn't good enough for a lot of people. Tommy Wooten promised transparency and many feel they haven't seen it. So a sixth night of protests in Elizabeth City. Eugene Daniels spoke with a few of the people marching, including someone who lost her own son at the hands of police. Yeah, protesters continued into the night as they know this small town of Elizabeth City is now in the national spotlight. We can't have this keep on happening. The mother of Eric Garner, whose death at the hands of officers sparked the chant, I can't breathe, spoke to people in Elizabeth City Monday. This community, outraged by the death of Andrew Brown Jr., has become the new ground zero for a national movement against excessive use of force and transparency in police investigations. They have ignored the lesson that the world was taught last week and over the last 11 months of how important transparency and accountability is to the African-American community. Reverend Greg Drumwright says he was in the courtroom every day of the Derek Chauvin trial and the timing of Brown's death right after the guilty verdict of the former Minnesota cop has energized efforts here in North Carolina. Protests spilled out into the streets for the sixth day in a row as demonstrators called for the public release of body camera footage showing Pasquotank Sheriff's deputies shooting Brown. People like Curtis Gatewood and Tony Riddick are outraged to hear Brown's attorneys say the family only saw 20 seconds of redacted video. What a spit in the face. What a slap in the face. And they just want to see what happened. It's, it's humane. It's, it's, a, it's a humane ask. This tragic incident was quick and over in less than 30 seconds. Pasquotank County Sheriff Tommy Wooten said the county administrator has petitioned the court to release the video. But the local NAACP president doesn't think it should take this long and he's not buying concerns by the district and county attorneys that releasing it will jeopardize the investigation. You are almost antagonizing the community. Riddick, who you heard from in the piece, said he's not surprised Elizabeth City has captured national attention because it historically played a major role in the civil rights movement. In Elizabeth City, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now.